Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. Today's video is a little bit different and that is because I want to introduce you to someone who's made the last two weeks of my life so special. He doesn't understand the rules of being quiet when you are filming. He likes to let everyone know he is here and that is oh, Mr. Max. Mr. Maximus. Mm -hmm. My darling baby, who is now over four months old. Go on, then let you get down. He's just amazing. The best thing that could ever possibly happen to me and Anthony. I'm just honestly living on cloud nine still. But I just wanted to make this video just to. I had like loads of questions since we've got Max asking about him, and I just thought I'd share it because I found like I've watched so many YouTube videos on how to look after him since we got him. Um, so the backstory is that. I've been asking for a dog probably for, I can't remember how long. So when I was a child, we had dogs in the house, my majority of my childhood. Um, my granddad, my grandparents had dogs and then my mum actually used to breed and show dogs. So literally from as long as I can remember, we have had dogs in the house. Um, and then if you follow me a long time on Instagram, you will know that my family dog passed away about two years ago, Brie, who was a spaniel as well. and the house has just been not the same like when i go home to my parents i'm like i always think she's still there and she's not and it's just heartbreaking um and i've always wanted a dog of my own but it's just never been the right time because of like life and jobs and work and stuff and then i went self-employed nearly two years ago now so ever since then we've owned our own house and i've also been self-employed so i've always been like anthony please like this is the right time to get a dog but he's always been very hesitant because he has allergies so he has really bad hay fever the man can't eat ketchup without having a breakout like he's just very allergic to everything <laughs> So he always said to me like, oh, it would be uncomfortable for me to have a dog in the house every single day and have to take antihistamines for the rest of my life every single day. And it was something that I just obviously didn't want to push him into. Like any, I think in any relationship, if you want something, you also have to compromise with your partner. And you just because you want it just doesn't mean that they have to want it. And obviously as time goes on in your relationship and the time you spend together then it's very important for you to both be on the same page with big life decisions like a dog i just think it's important to both be on the same page like i don't want to be you know pushing him into it and then our puppy is like screaming at five o'clock in the morning and he is angry with me because i've brought a dog into our environment max darling come on what's this come on, Mr. definitely having a mad max half an hour right now so yeah a few days before christmas um Anthony picked me up and said your mum's just round we've got to go straight to theirs so I was like oh my god panicking obviously worried what, what the scenario was and like thinking all kinds of things in my head that's Mr Pig um and then I walked in to this I'm going to show the clip right now of what I walked into that's actually it's your Christmas present <laughs> that's why we're here <laughs> Even when I watch that, I feel so emotional because it was like, it was more than just meeting Max. It was the fact that Anthony was willing to, you know, not sacrifice his health, obviously, because it's a bit drastic, but he was willing to take antihistamine every single day of his life and be uncomfortable in his own home to make me happy. So it was really like a shock, and I'd almost come to the terms that. You know, he wasn't ever going to do this and he wasn't going to budge. Um, and I'd been pestering and pestering and pestering. But at the same time, I didn't want to, you know, make someone uncomfortable with the scenario that I'm pushing them into. Um, but honestly, you should... Well, I'm going to show you like a montage in a second of his of his life in the last two weeks. The boy is spoiled rotten. And Anthony and him are like two peas in a pod, honestly. So cute, like falling asleep together in front of the sofa. Like, it's just like his little boy. And honestly, it's like the cutest thing. And we're all just so happy. I just can't wait until he has his jabs so and we can go out for walks. And I don't know, I'm just like, I'm just, I feel like this is everything I've ever wanted. And I'm just so happy. But with that being said, I want to, you know, be realistic and not sugarcoat it because I don't want people to see that Anthony's got me a dog for Christmas and think, oh, that's a really good idea. I think, oh my God, I want to do that for my daughter or for my family because, you know, there's been a long process in behind the scenes of this. My mum helped with the whole, like, decision. Mum's been looking after Max for three or four days before we went to pick him up and she's, like I said, had dogs and showed them and bred them. So she's a proper dog expert, I would like to say. So it wasn't just off of the cuff that Anthony just thought, I'm gonna go and buy a dog. Like it's been a lot in the background. He's been planning it with my mum. 
um, good boy. And, you know, it has been hard, like, especially because I didn't know about what was happening. I couldn't prepare myself. So it's been a case of just like, oh, I need to like learn about this. So I'll just Google it. Are you gonna come over cuddle with mummy? No, I want to terrorize buddy, don't you? You know, I've had to learn on the job almost. There's been lots of late nights, there's been crying, there's been exploding poos. They had to get my hands dirty. One night he literally exploded all over the cage. He's had a really upset tummy, so he's had to go to the vets and put on antibiotics. There's just so many things that you have to take into consideration before getting a dog. You know, it's, it is amazing, but I just want everybody to be aware that, you know, it, there is, it's, it is a lot of hard work. Like, I just love dogs so much. Like, I could literally pick up dog poo and like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not bothered by things like that with a dog. But I just wanted to say, obviously, I don't want to glamorize it and make it look like every day is, you know, amazing. Like, some days he is hard, he is, he is teething, he's finding it hard at the minute, he's crying a lot at night, um, and we're having to keep taking him out for a toilet. And, you know, it's been, it's been hard to, Bring up a puppy as many people know so i just wanted to include that before i like show this highlight reel of his existence in our life and how special he is and just say you know there, there is a lot of you know me in pajamas with a coat on in the rain taking him out for a wee at one o'clock in the morning freezing or you know there is these special moments where he's just like my best friend and i just love him so much so there is peace and trust but i just want people to be aware before you go into getting a dog that you need to really look into it and not just get a dog for the sake of it i'm just so happy and i've literally just spent the last two weeks no hair and makeup dog poop on me <laughs> my hair not washed like i'm chewing all my clothes like it's just I don't know, I've been in a puppy bubble, but I've really enjoyed it. And I couldn't, I don't think it could have come at a better time than around Christmas and New Year, because, you know, I've had a lot of time off work and things like that. Um, whereas in winter and summer, um, I'm really busy with um, work and brands and whatever. So I think it's personally come at the best time. You just wait until he can go for a walk. There'll be dog outfits. There'll be dog walking outfits Go off. It's gonna be in my life now every weekend. Like gone are the days where I wanna go out on a night out, I'll go for dinner. I'll be like, can my dog come? Because he needs to go for a walk. I've got Hunter Wellington boots now. Like, anyway, I've rumbled on a lot there. Maxie, come here. So now I'm gonna show you Maxie's first two weeks and how much he's grown over that period of time. Like, it's actually crazy. He, we've been on like, a mission of fattening up because he was so skinny and small when we first got him. Um, he wasn't being fed enough in my opinion um, so now he's on like four meals a day growing playing constantly constantly playing with toys so to chase after him build muscle so he's doing it really really well and I'm just so happy with him so for anyone who is puppy obsessed like me here is a little max montage for you to watch and oogle over 